गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज टेंस एंड हंड्रेड चैप्टर नंबर टेन टेंस एंड हंड्रेड्स नाउ कम टू टूडेज टॉपिक सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टेंस एंड हंड्रेड्स एट फर्स्ट लेट्स नो दिस टेंस एंड हंड्रेड्स फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई हैव टेकन अ पिक्चर here you can see the whole picture on the top it is written one whole yes you can see that this is a whole rectangular shape and it is completely red so this one is known as one whole now let me divide this whole part into 10 equal parts so let me draw the lines One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just imagine then these all are ten equal parts. So now let me clear this. This one part is known as one tenth part. Here it is written one tenth. Each part is known as its one tenth part, and bottom side you can see one tenth. The whole part was divided in ten equal parts. You can see here this one is pointed as one tenth, and one tenth mean in fraction we can write here one upon ten, and. its value in decimal it will be 0.1 when will divide 1 upon 10 now let's understand 100s suppose that we have taken one whole part now we will divide this whole part into 100 equal parts okay bottom side you can see whole part was divided into 100 equal parts so its each part will be known as its 100 part you can see one box is colored as red so this part will be known as 100 part so each part is 100 part and in fraction we will write it as 1 upon 100 so these are the decimal concepts tens and hundred are the places of the decimal numbers tens as i have told you 1 upon 10 is known as one tens and hundred means 1 upon 100 and when we will divide 100 you will get 0.01 okay here is the decimal place value chart the main important thing is here decimal line you can see here decimal so here a point is here so it will be known as decimal point so this point is known as decimal point between two numbers for example here we have written 25 but why you will put a point so it will be read as 2.5 because this point is playing role of decimal point so left side of this decimal line here you can see ones tens hundreds and thousands and these are the integer part and right side we have decimal points and the first place decimal is tens hundreds thousands and 10000 so these are just different from the integer part here the name are looking same but these are different 
for example in integer part you will see here is tens but in decimal part here we have ten ehs it is added now let's know the value of this number then we can find the difference between these two similar words so decimal point we have put here next is an integer part come to first integer part we have one so once means a complete one whole we can say as once then tens complete 10 then in hundreds complete 100 we have and in thousands complete 1000 we have its value now in decimal part it is just opposite tens means tenth part of 1 as i have already discussed okay 1 upon 10 this is the fractional presentation of one tenth. If we have whole part and then that is divided into 10 equal parts. 10 equal parts. So, the each part will be known as tenth part. Similarly, here we have 100. It will be written as 1 upon 100 because 100 part of 1 is known as 100. Similarly, 1000 part of 1. It will be known as 1000. Okay, so let's know their values. So, 1 upon 10 means in decimal form we will write 0 0.1 and 1 upon 10 it will be written as 0 0.01 when we'll divide this number you will get this decimal form now 1 upon 1000 so you will get as 0 0.001 okay in this way we can continue it now let me help you to find the decimal number by dividing for example here we have taking 1 upon 10 let me divide this number 1 it will be our dividend and 10 it will be our divisor so here you can see the dividend is 1. So it is smaller than the divisor. We cannot divide. So just divide the dividend by 0. Okay. For one time. 10, 0. It will be 0. Now 1 minus 0. It will be 1 here. We have 1. One more time. Divided. Now put a decimal here. So what will happen? A 0 will be added dividend place. Now it is 10. And it is equal to 10. So, 10 manja 10. 10 minus 10. So, after subtracting, you will get 0. So, in this way, we can get the value, decimal value of this fractional number. Is it clear? So, in this way, our introduction part of 10th chapter is completed. Students, further we will continue in next video. Thank you.